Alright, so this week's weekly UI is to design a press page. And I'm going to do that for the TeamGaslight.com website. Um, we don't have a press page. We have a living style guide that we try to keep up to date that is for internal use. But we actually don't have anything that is public facing. So I figured, why not start there? Um, so I'm going to start with the header here and keep with the theme, not the theme, the pattern that we've been using for page headers across the site and have this image over here on the right and then do our highlight style for a page title and we'll make that just say press kit and let's see what should this intro paragraph say um let's get it to our paragraph styles real quick and what should we have that say let's go with Something brief and it kind of sticks with the voice that we've established, our brand voice. So something fun, but straightforward and to the point. Um, so we'll go with, feel free to use the resources provided, but please be kind to our brand. Reference the brand guide, which I can link to. If you are unsure along the way. So straightforward to the point, that way a user knows what this is for, and then we also give them additional resources if they aren't quite sure how to use the resources we're providing. So let's make the line length a little shorter, bump that in, and then we'll provide a link to download the full kit in one click, and then down below we'll let them download individual pieces of it and that way if they know what they want they can come in and just grab it versus downloading a giant file but if they want to just browse what we're providing they can download the full kit as well okay so we've got our button styles here let's get that left aligned that type size is a little big so we'll bump that back down and decrease the padding around that those a call to action there okay so we've got our intro here we'll shorten up this image so that it is not a lot taller than the copy we've got on the left um, and then down below here we will have a list of the resources provided individually so we'll let people download logos photography and typography so let's go with that. And I think actually let's adjust the spacing and we'll give a fourth column here and provide our brand colors as well, the hex values for that. All right, so logos, let's start listing out the different types of logo forms they can download. Before I forget, let's give this brand guide our link style, which is a really thick underline, and then on hover, a highlight fills in the background of the link from left to right. So we'll add in the underline below all of our links here. And we have a lot of different logo variations. We've got a vertical lockup, horizontal lockup, just the image mark, just uh, a combination of the word and the image mark and then we also have just uh, one color versus full color and inverse so there's a lot of variations here um, so let's start listing some of them out we'll add a header to this list and we'll say we've got the vertical lockup full color and we also uh, provide different file types, so we've got pings, we've got SVGs, and we've got ESPs, um, or EPS, that's what it is, not ESP, losing my mind, okay, so we'll do two headers here, we've got vertical lockup, and then print, and then we'll provide a ping, a ping, wow, that was weird, ping, PNG, uh, and the EPS, which is a vector form for print. So we'll add in the underlines here, 
And then let's start adding the additional types here. So we've got full color. We'll do full color inverse. And let's add some white space in between here so our download links are all right aligned. And then we'll do the same thing for one color. And full color, or one color inverse. We'll drag those underlines down. And let's see here. That's going to end up being a really long list now that I think about it. So we're going to have to do the same thing for the horizontal lockup. Or we're going to have to do digital. So we've got the CMYKs here and then we're going to have to do the RGBs. Then we've got to do the horizontal for both. And then we've got to do just the image mark. And then, yeah, that's going to be a lot. Okay, so backtrack here. I don't want a list that is mile long compared to all the other lists. So let's backtrack and instead of listing each one individually, let's just do kind of like smaller chunks of them. So we'll do download print logos or download digital logos. And then you can, you'll get a zip file for um, your RGB and your CMYK. In that way, somebody who may not know exactly what they need if they don't know what the RGB or the CMYK is or if they want just the image mark or if they want the full lockup um, they can download it and then see what it is browse the zip file, browse the download okay so let's add in typography, DIN Pro and Aglet Slab and then we've got photography which will list out couple of the different categories that we use. Um, we've got employee shots, so like headshots, and then we've also got just general office shots. Um, people doing work versus playing foosball or hanging out in our uh, open space or lobby space in co uh, at Friday coffees. So we'll add that in as just kind of general office. And then brand colors, we'll list those out. Um, we'll do each color and then provide the hex value as well. So let's do, we've got our black, we've got blue, red, and yellow, and then we'll add the hex value below. And let's grab those hex values. So, red one, try to remember these as like before I type them since they don't stay visible. All right, and there's blue. And now yellow. All right, so next to those, I will add a little swatch for each color here. So we've got our black, we've got our blue, red, and yellow. Cool, and then I will grab the colors and their hex values and we'll put indent those a little bit. Make sure that's base aligned with the first line of the other lists. And then let's reduce the gutter there. Okay, so we've got our four columns. I'll group that and then let's distribute these. And actually we need to bump photography over a little bit more. Redistribute, cool. So we've got our list down below. Let's throw in some rules here that we can make sure all of our content is aligned. I should have done that before. I did not, whoops. Okay, so we'll reduce that image size and then we will bump this over and left align everything. And then we'll have to do the same with, oh, I forgot link styles. Let's do that real quick. Sorry, jumping all over the place. Here's some link styles, copy paste, copy paste. And last one, office and employees. We'll group all those and then we'll get these distributed again. All right, and then we'll bump that up and actually let's play with 
I think I want to visually separate these four lists down below here. Should we put a header in there? No, let's actually, let's do that. Do that separation visually with the dark background. On our site, the way that we separate different sections is by doing kind of these bands across the site. Um, so we'll do one of those. And let's inverse this copy here. And we'll need to inverse the link styles as well. All right, we've got that. And then our swatches here, that black is getting lost. So I'm going to add a white stroke around those as well. And then let's bump that over and bump these guys over so that it's all still left aligned. And now we've got our section down here of press kit elements. Okay, so let's add, let's increase the white space on the bottom here and bump that up. And now let's see, I'm going to drop in our logo up top. Not upside down. There we go. Okay, and we'll left align that here at the top of the page where it lives currently on our website. And then let's go find an image for the header here. I want to find something that is uh, showcases what we do, but also shows that we have a good time while we're doing it and kind of visualizes the fun of our brand and our office. So I want to find something that does those things. Let's see here. Do, do, do. Photography is a hard thing. A lot of the stock photography out there um, is starting to, the quality of it is increasing. And so it's hard to make sure that the photography that we take isn't looking like stock photography, but um, our designer, Katie Best, she does a great job with our photography. So um, we are very blessed, very lucky. So I'm going to actually reverse these, the layout of these two and do the image on the left and the copy on the right and do the overlap of that text, that header, the page title there. Okay, and then let's do a mask on here um, because that is our press kit layout. And I want to start composing our dribble shot. So we've got our container here. It's looking a little funny. Hold on. Let's get... It is not lined up within our rule. Okay, so let's see here. Let's bump this back over and then want to fix our link here. And then let's get this last list over here and redistribute and then let's reduce our mask width here. There we go. Grab the anchor points. And there we go. Okay. So we'll round the corners of the top here so that it looks more like a browser. And let's get rid of those rules and then let's get this. I'm going to have it kind of bleed off the bottom of the page so it feels like it's like popping up and the page continues after this a little bit because I didn't include the footer here. So there is a little bit more content. And then for the background, I'm going to pull in our textures that we use throughout the site kind of our building blocks. So let's get them all a little larger and then we'll start building our patterns here. And I want to keep them large so that they feel abstract and not too busy, but also small enough that you can still see what they are on the edges of the, the mock-up we've got going here. And then let me grab one more so that it's not just like a straight line across the middle of the mock up here. Then we'll drop that in over here. Make sure those are aligned. 
There we go. And then the last thing we got to grab are our sprinkles, which I talked about last week. Um, they are sort of decorative, but there is a lot of intent behind the way we use them. Um, they create visual interest, but we also want to make sure that we're mindful on how we distribute them and the shapes uh, where they're placed and then also the colors as well. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing I did last week and have some of the elements overlap the mock-up we've got going and then place the rest of them along here and make sure that we don't use too many of them. And there we have it. We've got our press kit page for teamgaslight.com and maybe it'll become a real thing soon. We'll see you next week.